morning, everyone, and welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Happy Monday. Happy Holiday Monday. My name is Joanne, and I am the Director of Marketing and Live Training here with Legendary Marketer. And we have, as always, another amazing guest. As much as we say that, it almost feels like we just say it, but we really do have awesome guest after awesome guest on the show um, and the reason is because you can't go wrong when you just get to share your story, your experience, your truth, what's been going on. Um, we don't prep any of our guests. <laughs> Anybody that's been on knows that it's like, hey, you're ready to go. And we go and uh, you can't mess up. You can't make up when it's your story, your experience. And that's what's so cool about it. Um, and that's what makes these interviews and these episodes really fun to watch because you do get that real authentic version of everyone that comes on. And uh, today we is no different. We have, I believe this is her first time on, uh, which will be amazing and I'm excited about. Before I bring her on, of course, a few housekeeping items. If you would like to get a notification of when we go live, so you're going to get five notifications a week, one each morning, about a minute or two into the broadcast. There's no other messages that come to this. No one else can respond. So it's literally just five messages a week, one each morning with a direct link to our live of when we go live. Head over to legendarymarketer.com slash W-U-L, and it'll take you right into the Facebook broadcast group that we have created. Um, and you can join that group and then get those reminders each morning to join us live. And it's also a great way just to get that reminder of what the episode was and to go watch the replay, which is pretty cool. And now you have that direct link to that replay as well. And of course, if you want any legendary swag, which I love, I have tons of. It was funny. We were all on a cruise last week. We were all wearing legendary majority of the time, all of our different shirts and hats and whatnot <laughs> around the cruise, which was kind of fun. Um, but head over to BeLegendary.shop. Grab yourself a legendary t-shirt or hat and celebrate your own wins with your own hat throw, just like Dave has done in the past as well. All right. Without further ado, I will say she had on the, her questionnaire a suggested title. And it I and we're gonna talk about it because she calls herself a skeptic, that she was a skeptic and she turned. And that's what I want to hear about today for sure. So <laughs> and she doesn't even know that, but that's what I'm going to ask her about. And I think that it's a good topic to discuss because a lot of people question anything new that you go into. You're like, should I do it? Should I try it? What should I? You know, you have those questions. And I think that's good to have those questions. So I'd love to. I can't wait to hear her story. So please welcome Janora to the show. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I am doing well. How are you? And welcome. You had shared this was one of your 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 goals, one of the items you wanted to achieve, right? I learned about legendary, and I learned about the wake up calls. I'm like, I'm going to be on there one day, and I actually wrote it down and look where I'm at right now. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's one of my favorite things to hear, um, which is. So awesome. So let's, since this is your first time on, let's get to know you. Let's get to know your story. What were you doing? What were you looking for? How did you find Legendary? Let's start there. Okay. Well, I recently just turned 26. Um, my birthday was in July. And I found Legendary from scrolling on TikTok. And I found this girl. Her name was Caroline. And I saw one of her videos and she was saying how Legendary changed her life. And, you know, she made such an amount of money in a such an amount of time. And <clears throat> as you said, a skeptic, I was like, hmm, how true is this? You know, so I did my research. I dig and I followed her for a very long time until I was very just moved to buy into the Legendary course. And then I saw for myself, I did the. But at this seven dollar course, and I did the uh, challenge, and I went through all fifteen days, and mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this seems really legit. Like this seems, this is like a way that I could actually change my life forever, you know, and be financially free. But at the time, I was working at the mail office. I was a mail lady, so I was delivering. Right. 
right? <laughs> and I also awesome. am like, so I graduated from UNCG in 2020 with my bachelor's degree in science. And that was a backup plan for me because my number one passion was singing. So after graduation, I told myself I'd give myself one year to do what I really wanted to do. And I went on The Voice on NBC and I was on John Legend's team. And then the year after that, I was on American Idol and I actually made it all the way to Hollywood and got- Wow, the hey, hey. <laughs> and it was amazing. It was, a, it was awesome. It was literally a dream of mine, but you know, the show does end and you have to go back home. And by that time it was just like, I don't really want to keep working the nine to five. You know, I want to be free. So I felt like Legendary was my ticket out. So I, at, by this time, I've, I've already finished the 15 day challenge, but I had a lot of blueprints, but I was so determined that I was like, let's get into blueprints. And when I got into that, it was so much information and I could not have done that on my own. So when you say it's a, like 10 years of learning in one day, yes, that is very true. <laughs> and, uh, and, I mean, if I would, if I ever hear somebody say, and I haven't, but if I ever hear somebody say that there's not, you don't get value, there's nothing in the blueprints, it won't help you. I'm like, then you don't, you don't own the blueprints. You've never seen the blueprints. <laughs> no, seriously. You don't know what you're talking about, right? Because <laughs> without it, I wouldn't have uh, made my first sale, you know, and I launched in September. So I really started in March, but it took me a while to like really start like my TikTok and my social media, because again, all this skeptic fear like showing putting my face out there you know what would my parents my friends my peers would say all that nonsense mm -hmm. but i finally started and since i started in september of last year coming around this september uh this year i'm over twenty thousand followers now i've made so many sales and it's just like wow i i just i honestly can't believe it and i'm just i'm still like a little beginning and I want to go even further now. So it's just like, I'm hopeful for what the future holds now, no, now knowing that it's possible. Right, right. Wow, I love that, I love that. All right, so let's dive in. When you first saw this though, you were you were a skeptic. I was. You was, so, so you were, and you, how, like, what was that process? Were you like, no, and then it kept coming up, so you started looking into it. How long did it take for you to just go, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out? Like yeah. walk through that process. Okay. When I first saw it, it was very, I was very skeptical. I just couldn't, I just couldn't fathom making that much money in such a short amount of time or however long it took you. It's just, you can really make that much money from your phone and you don't have to go to work. Like my brain was processed. It was, it was a process because I was trained that you have to go to, to a nine to five to get you know, have a successful life or go to college to go to have a successful life or something like that. And to know that all that was false, I had to rewire my brain. So, uh, yeah, first looking at legendary, I was very skeptical, but I dived into it and I started making my videos mm -hmm. and I had started with zero followers, zero everything, zero likes, zero views, like nobody <laughs> Everyone, I don't know why people think, oh, if so and so has ten thousand followers or a hundred thousand followers, that they suddenly they had those. No, they just had them. Right, they had them before, and it's like, no, everybody starts at zero. Zero, everybody. and <laughs> it was like, of course, it was discouraging a little bit, but I kept going, you know, day after day, trying to learn new tactics tactics to get more views to get more people watching or get people to you know buy in and i'm just like just every day was like i didn't get a sale this day let's try again tomorrow uh didn't get a sale this day let's try again tomorrow and it's like i kept going kept with that mindset and then at times i'm not gonna lie to you i, I i'm like i'm putting in all this effort i done invested this money and i'm not getting any any return and it's been my skeptic skepticism came back a little bit, but I'm like, no, it, it does work. I just have to keep going. And so I kept going and kept going. Then finally, eventually I got that small sale and that was enough for me to keep going like forever. Like I'm just going to, like that small sale was 
literally everything to me. I was felt like the richest person ever. <laughs> you know, I it's so important to be transparent with that part of the journey. Mm -hmm. That part of this process. And it's something that we really work hard to communicate. And I love that you shared that. You didn't try to skip over it. It's yeah. okay to share. There's a point that when you launch a business, and I don't care what or what business it is, when you launch a business, you have no customers yet. You have no customers. I I own a brick and mortar business. I've had that since I was, you know, 21. I've had those days where you turn open on this actual sign on the building, like, hey, we're open for business, but that doesn't mean people are coming yet. Yep. Right now you, you did all this work just to be able to say, okay, I'm open. Yeah. And that's what going through the education and all of the setup processes is just getting to the way, the point of being able to say, okay, I'm now open. My business is open. I'm actually launching, but then there's this new level, a new level of challenge. And that is now you got to do the marketing, get your voice out there, bring customers into your door. And in this case, your virtual door. And it, it, that's the same if you are a restaurant, <laughs> if you are a chiropractor, a massage therapist, you, there's prep to be able to say, I'm open. And then there's work and time to actually gain clients, gain customers. And that's the piece people quit during. Mm -hmm. That's the piece where they liked, that's where you'll hear, oh, it, it doesn't work. It's just a scam. That's where that evil little voice comes in, right? Oh. But you just have to keep going. Yep. And remember the bigger vision, why you started it. That and I love how you shared that with all of us. Um, because there's no getting around that point. There's no avoiding it, guys. There's okay. no avoiding it. It is not going to happen where you put in the learning stage before you say, I'm open, and then go, okay, today it's Monday, I'm open. And then tomorrow I'm going to have 500 people in my email list. <laughs> and by Friday, I'm going to be at X figures per month. And that's, that's not going to work. That's not how this works. Exactly. You're missing the part now that you're open and you got to build. Yep. And I like how you said that's the part where people quit because uh, I feel like you have to have a good mindset. And I'm glad Dave started that with mindset because you know? mm -hmm. um, that is very important. If you don't have it, like you said, you'll quit. You'll give up and you'll think, oh, it doesn't work. But it's just because you're in the beginning stages and you just need just a little bit more time and, you know, just own your craft, own it and work on it. And I promise you'll get there. But like, yeah, just keep going. That mindset thing is very important. You know, entrepreneurship brings out the negatives we believe in ourselves that we kind of bury. Oh, I don't want anybody to see that. But then when we jump into doing something on our own, and I would assume going on stage, participating in the type of contests that you did that are quite public, bring out those same emotions that you got to learn to dig deep and remember your self-worth, tap into the confidence that you're building, and to continue to take action. And I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to bet some virtual fake money, not real money, <laughs> that those experiences of being on idle and, and all of that, um, actually helped you push through that time and of starting your business. Do you see a correlation between those two when you look back? Yes, for sure. Like, even on those TV shows, like again, mindset was important because you're around all these people that have the same dream as you, you know, wanting the same end goal as you. And a lot of the time, well, well personally for me, when I was there, is I got in my head as like, am I good enough? Uh, can I do this? Like, it is those mindsets that those thoughts tend to creep in 
when you're under a lot of pressure or your your goal is so big that you feel like it's out of reach for you. That's really when all those negative thoughts come. Your fear is, can I do it? And you just gotta overcome that fear and believe that you can. So yeah, when I was on the shows, big pressure, a lot of pressure, eyes watching, and I wanted the dream so bad, but you just gotta mm -hmm. do it like I did it. And that was a, getting on those shows, I thought I could never do. So to know that I did that is like, oh, I can do anything if I put my mind to it, you know? Yeah. And guys, you don't need, you don't need to go on American Idol to prove that to yourself. Exactly. You start your business and keep showing up the next day. That's how you prove yourself that you can do something. I remember an, a, a past guest on a show actually shared once that for once in her life, she just wanted to see herself follow through with something, with something. It didn't matter what it was. She just wanted to follow through with something because usually how we do one thing in the past, we're going to keep doing it until we learn a new way. So if we in the past quit or stop doing something when it felt hard, when it felt uncomfortable, we're going to keep doing that. It doesn't matter what course you buy. It doesn't matter what business you want to start in anything in life. You're going to keep actually replicating that behavior until you make a change. Wow. So I guess it, it, it comes down to at some point we got to decide, is this going to be the moment where I decide I'm worthy to, to do another day? Right. And then the next day go and another day and the next day go and another day, just like you shared that. And I loved how you worded that earlier because um, that's really it is. It's making a decision every day that I'm going to keep going today. Yep. And I like I resonated with the person that said they just want to follow through with something. Mm -hmm. I get that 100 percent because going down the line after all these days, after the next day and after the next day, I couldn't get all the way down to all those days and then quit. Like I made it this far, Let's, we might as well keep going. Right? And maybe that's what it is as I'm, I'm thinking out loud with you right now, or, or I'm going to brainstorm. Maybe that's what it is, is that at some point we go, the where we want to be seems too far and too big, like too much work. Mm -hmm. If we just focus on what do I got to do today? And then I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And then pretty soon, we can look back and we have that history behind us of, man, I've been doing this for 30 days. Yes. Doing this for 60 days. I've been doing this for four months every day. And, and then that's when you look back and go, man, I'm a different person than I was four months ago. Yes. Right. And you don't realize it till then. So maybe it's, it's not understanding there's a longevity piece, but it's just the action part that we have to put our focus on is what am I going to do today? And then I'm going to wake up and do it again tomorrow. One day at a time. One day at a time. Yeah. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. And then find something good that happened in that one day. Yep. That's it. And celebrate it. I say this on decade in a day. I don't care if it's you figured out how to make your button work on your funnel. Oh, oh, celebrate it with other people. I'll be all over that post. Heck yeah, you did. <laughs> That was our win today. Tomorrow we're going to have another win. Yes. You got to build on those small things, especially if it was something you really struggled with. Because I've, I've met people, I've talked with people in our community that actually shared, man, it took me a few weeks to go on Support 101 and ask a question because they thought it was going to be dumb. But for two weeks, they sat there doing nothing because they had this one question holding them up. So now they had 14 days of inaction, 14 days of worry, 14 days of fear, 14 days with no progress in any way, shape or form. And they just needed to take two minutes and go on support 101 and remember they're worthy of getting their question answered. Don't be scared to ask for help, guys. Yeah. Just, yeah. just do it. Yeah. I'm like, go in there every day. Ask a, ask a question every single day. There's no dumb questions. That's right. And it's including, you can go in there every day for the next five years if you want. <laughs> ask every question. If that's what keeps you moving forward, mm -hmm. do it.
that's what's cool about it. Yeah. And I love that you you brought that whole piece up. And, and it's okay to, you're going to have thoughts where you are skeptic or question. So I, I think it's important to not then have a pity party like, oh, I let myself down. I was thinking negative. It's not, I think it's natural. It is. It is very natural. Yeah. I feel like it's normal. Like, yeah. I, I feel like people need those days because they won't know what a good day feels like if they didn't have the bad ones, you know? So yeah. I just, I feel like the whole journey of the struggle in the beginning is what builds your character, what makes you more proud of what you're doing when you actually do find success. Yeah. And just, you just are kind of stand taller. You're just a, their whole, your whole mindset. And I know that's kind of like an uncomfortable topic. Like I got to work on myself and we're not talking like go to therapy by any means, but let's work on growing our confidence so we can take action. It really, that's where the lack of action comes from. It's from a lack of confidence and that fear coming into play and controlling us. Yeah. And we got to be able to go, all right, I'm doing something new and we're going for it. I'm going, I'm going all in. Go <laughs> <Right>? back. <laughs> That's right. When you did decide to go through the challenge, was that process long for you? Was it hard for you? Did you have to keep reminding yourself to keep going through the days? Did you have some of that internal struggle or was it in and you were in it to win it from the start? I was in it to win it. So like when I first started, I was so determined to finish it because I was at a job that I didn't want to be at. So I was like, let's get this done so I don't have to be here any longer, you know? <laughs> so um, when I did have the 15 day challenge, I was trying to go through it and focus and take notes. Like I was being like really studious because I really wanted to soak in everything and learn it and implement it and not just learn it and do nothing with it. So <clears throat> I just wanted to really get in there and, and get out and start. Ah, oh, I love that. What would you say to someone that's in the challenge right now? They're in that stage of they're on day one or two, maybe three, somewhere in there. And they're in that, like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do this. Mm. They like what they're learning. They're still a little skeptic. Like, oh, is this possible? Like, can I really, like, do something new? What's your advice for that person? Well, the fact that they're in the challenge, I know that they have that something that spark is already in them. So they just have to have it. And the advice I will give is go through it. You know, you know, take your time. It doesn't have to be a rush decision, but just just make sure that it's something that you actually want to do because um, you don't want to jump into something you're not fully committed to it. You know, so I feel like even if you're not fully committed, just go get through the challenge and it's up to you from there if you're going to continue or implement it or go forth and put what you just learned and, you know, uh, implemented in in the future to see if you could actually make something out of it. But my best advice for the that's in the challenge right now is to finish the challenge and go for it. Just go for it. Yeah, and it's just that one day at a time. Right? Yeah, it's that one, one day at a time. Don't compare yourself to other people. And I know that's so hard. It's so easier said than done, right? We we always hear that, oh, I'm not supposed to compare myself. And 10 minutes later, you're there scrolling on IG or TikTok and you're going, oh man, this person just said this and they have X number of followers and I have zero, so I'm not worthy of being heard. That's what some of us tell ourselves, guys. And your follower count does not equal your worth of being heard. Yes. Come on now, preach. Right? I mean, it just doesn't. It doesn't. I even know people bought those followers. <laughs> Who knows, right? <laughs> I had to tell myself that. I'm like, do not compare. Like, I, I was in the comparing game. Like, mm. I saw the big people that's up there making big amounts of money with this amount of followers. And I'm sitting there. I got one view on my video today. Oh, I got one new follower today. And 
and that should be that should make me happy you know that i'm growing even if it's at a slow pace but i was so busy worried about someone else and what they're doing that i couldn't see like the miracles happen in my own slow beginnings i was slow it was a slow burn and it was an amazing slow burn so advice for that is yeah don't play the comparison game you worry about your lane and stay out of other people's lane right they're just at a different stage exactly does it mean it's a that your stage is wrong or bad because they were once at your stage yes but they just kept going yep. with the blinders on and kept going you know, you mentioned something and it's really about where's your focus going to be. Yeah. Right. And um, a lot of people come into this because they only have an extra hour or two a day. They still have a full-time job. You know, you can't devote eight hours a day, every day to a new venture, a new education, learning new skills and starting a business. Not everyone has that luxury. Um, and I get that. So if you have an hour a day, think about this guys. You have an hour a day and you're just starting out. You're still learning. You're applying what you're learning. If you spend 30 minutes focusing on someone else's business and you spend another 15 minutes focusing on why it's not going to work for you, you now have 15 minutes of a really crappy mindset that you're putting into your own business. How good is that content going to be? How good is that effort of that 15 minutes going to be? Because your mindset is all messed up from how you spent the last 45 minutes of the one hour you're giving your to your business each day. Think about it that way. How much are you robbing from your progress? Because you gave it to something else, to the negativity, to the worry, to someone else's business even. You gave it that attention. It all comes back to that focus piece think about that. It's wild. When you think about it that way, you're like, man, I only put like 15 minutes and they were a bad 15 minutes into my business. <laughs> I it that way, but that's very true. Because <laughs> you're going in with like a 45 minute buildup of negative mindset thinking. And now that's where your head is. And you're going to put that into your business. It's not going to be great. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's not going to be great. Um, so, yeah, your mindset is just key. It is. And um, something that I was going to add to that is that authenticity. Like, you got to be true to yourself. If you are if you're have a bad mindset recording your videos, it, it, it's going to it's going to be able to tell, you know, if you're going to be genuine or not, are you really happy? It's like, you got to be authentic. And I feel like when I make my videos, I, I crack up. I tend to laugh at myself about the stupid mistakes I make or literally about anything. And I just feel like me being authentic is why I gain followers a little bit because people see that I'm just a normal person just trying to make it out here. Yeah, I love that. So let's talk content a little bit. Yes. So you're on TikTok. Yeah. And you're just on TikTok, correct? Are you uh, on other platforms? Or TikTok's your 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 biggest, your favorite. We'll see. Yeah, TikTok that's, is my favorite. Okay, which I love. And I think that's important for everyone to remember. Our social media platforms, they all have different highs and lows at different points. Everybody right now is all about Instagram. <laughs> There's still a lot going on on a lot of the other platforms. Um, and you may be surprised where you take off that. So I love that TikTok is, is, is your preferred platform. Um, so how do you weave your story, yourself, into so your content without being at all just about you, like on a pedestal, right? You're still serving. You're still providing value. How do you do that? Because I think that's where uh, people struggle with as well. I would love to hear that. So when I first started, I struggled with this as well. Um, I was trying to, when I first started, I was doing like a journey. I would wanted to talk about, this is my first day posting and I'm going to tell you exactly what happens each and every day. So every day I'm like telling what I did. I just built my funnel. I just did, created my first um, lead magnet. And I was just just documenting everything that I was doing, just so it could help someone else. Right. And so 
that's where I've started uh, in my journey. And I'm also on other social media platforms like Instagram and other platforms, but TikTok is where I started going faster at. And I just honed in and then I probably like reposted those videos on other social media platforms. Right, right. But yeah, I started on TikTok and my content was really just documenting everything, teaching others what I've learned, uh, giving steps, giving tips. Um, yeah, so I just started that way. Just letting my, my audience know that I don't have all the answers yet and I probably won't ever have all the answers, but I'm just sharing as I go. Which is, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. It's like sitting with friends and you're just like, hey, I, I learned, hey, I, I found this out today. You're not suddenly saying you're an expert in the topic of whatever it may be. You're just <laughs> a tidbit that I found out today and I'm sharing with my friends around the fire pit, around the dinner table, over drinks, whatever it may be. Those are the conversations you have in real life. That's all you're doing in your content. That's it. It's really that simple, guys. It's this... It, it gets muddy and hard and difficult when we go, okay, I'm just, I'm brand new, but I need to look like I am the expert on TikTok and everyone should listen to me, even though I have zero followers and I'm brand new. It has a lot of weight to carry. It is. You need to be the expert. You just got to be one step ahead of somebody else that's watching. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I feel like that's where most people tend like all that pressure comes and it it gets it gets not fun after a while because right. then the authentic authenticity is gone and you're trying to be a guru when you're not a guru. And it's like now it's starting to be fake and people you don't know, that long journey as long when you're being fake. Right. Cuz now you're acting. Yes, exactly. You're trying to be somebody else that you think you have to be. And yeah, after after a few weeks, it's hard to show up as someone else when you got to be pumping out content every day. Yep. It's hard to be somebody else that you're pretending to be. And then you start mixing in some of your own personality. And then you still got the old actor personality in there. And now the algorithm doesn't know who's showing up on your content. <laughs> right? And so it's confused and your views drop when you just got to come out with your amazing, crazy, quirky self from the start that's that's it and that's what i did and i felt like that's that got me far I, that what made me want to actually post every day because it's just that's just who i am <laughs> i'm just being just authentically me yeah and it's more it's more fun it, and then it, the people you actually want to follow you they're people you want to talk to yep they're like, they're like, oh, it's like a cool group of friends instead of pretending to be someone else. And now you have friends with people that you don't like who think you're someone else. And you're like, I don't want to keep showing up to them. Yeah. Right. You're like, I don't like this group of people. So why do we want to build that following? <laughs> you got to converse essentially with your followers every day in some form. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Which I love, which is cool. What is your... Beyond, beyond being authentic in your content, what are some other tips you can share with people when creating content that you wish you had known from at the start? Wow. So I learned a lot, but uh, some things that I can just give off the top of my head right now is following, making sure your algorithm is aligned with the topic that you're giving to your audience. Mm -hmm. So like following uh, other users that have similar topics of what you're selling. So like me, make money online. I follow other creators that uh, was doing that same thing. And I not copied them, but like I took ideas from them. I'm like, oh, they're talking about tips that they learned. I could do tips that I learned. Um, doing steps. People love steps and people love opinions on TikTok. So if you're, you have a strong opinion, like, notice that that gets a lot of engagement people either it's good engagement or bad engagement but it gets engagement <laughs> it's one of those things you gotta be okay i'm posting an opinion and i'm gonna get some hate i'm yep. gonna get some negative and but it's my opinion and that's okay i'm welcoming those opinions but i'm doing it to increase my engagement 
Yep. It might be a bit of a dumpster fire in my comments and you're kind of accepting that, that, that hap, that's part of your strategy, so to speak. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so I wish I would have learned that like first starting out, but it's like, I'm learning as I go, but I, I, I think that I can really share that with people that's just starting. Uh, yeah. Share your opinion, share your tips, uh, share your, just your, your mindset and be you, you know, uh, mm -hmm. be true and post like just post the video it's okay like just yeah. get it you'll never know what it will do would you say sometimes just a simple something that you record don't spend a lot of time on it's still worth posting it doesn't have to be a whole production with every piece of content that you put in there. it doesn't like i i know sometimes editing can be you know but I feel like it doesn't, you don't have to edit your videos if you don't want to, like, just right. you. <laughs> yeah, just make sure there's a long pause at the start. <laughs> make sure you're visible. We can see your face if you're gonna, if you are showing your face, unless you're faceless, that's different, right? Make sure everything can be read on the screen. <laughs> exactly. Um, and just keep going. Some more tips on that, on editing purposes. Yeah. Uh, Make sure you have a strong hook because I noticed that that beginning video, that eye catcher or that first four seconds, I feel like is what catches your uh, uh, audience to see if they stay on the video and then giving them meat and potatoes. So like give them something that they want that want to hear like or want that they need to hear to help them. Right. right. And then at the end, a call to action, even if that's give me a follow or give me a like or whatever you want at the end of your video. So call to action, meat and potatoes and, uh, sorry, uh, hook, the action. Yeah. And meat potatoes. <laughs> yep. Yep. Definitely. And let's, uh, and I'm going to, here's my PSA for everyone today, guys, your meat and potatoes, your value, yes. not what you have in your, in your, the link in bio. So I'm seeing that a lot where they're like, you know, they have a hook. And they're like, hey, if you want the answer to this, go check out my ebook to get the answer. Mm -hmm. No, you got to answer it in the video, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you need to, that's, people aren't, they don't like that. They're not going to respond to that. That's actually a video of no value. That's a sales video. Your value can't be to go click. That's just your call to action. You need to give them something, give them a win. Give them a piece of information. Give them a smile. Give them something. Meat and potato. Be authentic with it. Um, don't tease it. Now somewhere else. Oh, thanks for watching my, through my hook. But now I'm not going to give you the answer. You'll get it when you click here. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> give them something to work with. Yeah. For sure. So and that some exchange of trust starting to be built. That part. Uh, when you feel, when you get something to someone for free, you know, I feel like that's where that trust begins. Right. And um, also, I don't say link in bio at the end of my video. I used to when I first started. I didn't know what I was doing, but I did. And um, now I don't say anymore. I usually just say, if you like this, if you want more content like this, give me a follow. And yep. Some of my followers go up. Or if you like this content and you want more of this, comment down below and say, I'm ready. Or something like that. Something like uh, that kind instead of just saying that link by it. Yep. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I love it. Oh, we have so many, so many quick tips today, guys. <laughs> so I hope you all are taking notes or at least go back afterwards and take notes and record all these really important um quick tips for beginners quite honestly um to just get started and to get going and things to remember um and then to do them every single day right <laughs> i love it all right i want to leave you with the last word before we go today what's your final piece of advice something you learned about yourself that you didn't realize that you now know about yourself that someone else could kind of relate to and understand as they go through this process. Cool. So 
I did not know that I was a perfectionist a little bit. Oh. And I want things now. I, I had a thought that that's what I, I, that's who I was. But until I was actually in it, I'm like, dang, you want things to happen overnight. That's mm -hmm. not, it's not going to work like that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted every video to be perfect. And it took, like, I literally spent hours upon hours trying to do one video. And I could not do that. It was time consuming and I just couldn't do that. And so if I had to tell my old self, post a video, don't spend too much time, like, you know, make sure it's good, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And right. also just be patient, literally just wait until it's time for your success. I love it. Yeah, I mean, chasing perfection is really a way to not actually take action. Yes, that. Kind of a wall that we hide around, like, oh, this is why I can't post yet. Mm -hmm. This is why I can't put myself out there yet. I'm, I'm waiting for this perfect funnel. I'm waiting for the perfect content. I'm waiting for the perfect amount of information in my head before I get started. That's where this whole I'm getting ready to get ready to get ready comes from, right? <laughs> where I'm getting ready to start maybe next week. <laughs> it, it's all this I have to be perfect before I can start. But there's no such thing as perfect. It doesn't exist. It's a lie we tell ourselves to stay stuck. Yep. It's the excuse we use to not take action. Yep. It's going to delay. Like, it's, it's a delay and it's nasty. And it's a nasty, nasty game we play with ourselves. That makes things last a lot longer, take a lot longer to get through. <laughs> For sure. I love it. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I love that you, this was such a wonderful conversation. It was fantastic. And you have to come back. I want updates. You need to meet Dave. You need to come to a mastermind and sing for us at some point. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And thanks for coming on today. And uh, you definitely need to come back. So I will. I love it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, our pleasure. Take care. All right, everyone. Oh, what an amazing human. Gosh, I love her. I love her personality and I love her smile. And she offered a ton of value to all of you today, especially if you are new on this journey. Save this video. Go back and rewatch it. She gave a ton of tips um, that are really, there are things that you can go apply right now in your content and into your business immediately today, which is huge. So go find her on TikTok at Nora, the affiliate, N O R A, the affiliate, all connected, no spaces, no spaces, no dashes, if I could talk. So go find her on TikTok at Nora, the affiliate, go give her a follow, check out her stuff, comment, let her know that you saw her on wake up legendary, all that good stuff. And uh, we are back tomorrow with another episode, as always. We just keep pumping them out. I think we're close to 1,100 episodes at this point. And uh, I'm excited. Every one of them is just loaded with gold, loaded with tips, loaded with mindset. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And as always, stay legendary. Peace.